I am Jay. This is my channel, Trucker Jay in the UK. This is not my truck. This is somebody else's truck. Uh, so just to uh, just to go over a couple of comments that was uh, mentioned when I, when I kind of released the um, the little teaser video, just showing a change job. Um, it's not this. The, I'm in the Volvo, and this is not my Volvo. It's another driver's Volvo. He's away at the moment, so um, my DAF is having some work done to it. So. Uh, I'm just in it at the moment, but uh, it's a good truck, if I'm honest. Uh, it's got lights and bars and it's got whistles on it. Yeah, it literally has got a whistle on it. Air horns and stuff like that. It's a pretty cool truck, if I'm honest. I do like it. Um, so, uh, anyway, it's not my truck, so I've got to make sure it's super clean, which I've been doing. And uh, anyway, this morning, we're going to get off to Birmingham. We're going to do some delivery to some. Uh, I did, did, did a bit of googling it last googling on it last night, and it's it's a bit of a controversial power plant. So I don't know why it's controversial. Looks all right to me. But, so yeah, we'll get that done, and then I think we're going to go back, drop this trailer off where I picked it up from. This is our trailer, where we're getting reloaded for steel for another another driver, uh, and then we'll be heading off up to the northeast Middlesbrough. Um, to do to help the Rivers Trust with a, a wildlife project they're doing there, so that's kind of cool to uh, to help out with that, uh, and then back down um, to see what we're doing for Friday. So uh, we're gonna get going now, and uh, hopefully get tips here pretty easy. <sighs> Building sites can be a bit. You know, can it, can it be in and out or it could be there for ages? So, well, let's see what happens anyway. Good morning, time to do a daily check. So, I'm carrying rebar, these look like some kind of pilings. Uh, so, I'm gonna check the load of straps. Still, he's still strapped, you can see it's strapped. I'm gonna check the load is uh, still tight, and then I do the usual trailer tires fuel tank you know etc etc i'm running a little bit behind so i'm just going to crack on with that and then i'll get back to you in a moment they are looking good no problems detected so uh time to get off to birmingham let's go As you can imagine, there's, there's literally no weight to this, what's on the trailer at all. Well, there is, um, but it's, it's, it's nothing, it's a notice, really. <coughs> it's a bit, I must admit, this cab is a bit wind noisy. I don't know if, is that my mate Darren's truck there? Yard, the Trucking by. Right near to the, that's it, it looks like it's actually. So, I'll, I'll check on Facebook, he's always got pictures on Facebook. <laughs> that's his truck or not. But, uh, he, he does um, international, like, uh, he might not be him actually, because usually he's doing stuff like um, setting up stages. Um, He's even done a bit of camera work for them. So how does this compare to Maxi? Do you know what? I'll, I'm not. I'll, I'll start stuttering. stuttering. <laughs> I'm not going to slate Maxi, but I will do in a separate video why I left Maxi. Sure, some of you probably know, but um, I'll just leave it as. 
Max, it is not a bad company to work for, I'm honest, and I, and I do recommend, especially if you're a new driver, I do recommend giving them a try if you want to get some experience. I think their only thing is you've got to be 25 or over for the insurance, but I guess it depends how desperate they are and if they're willing to pay extra for the insurance for you, so they say they can't insure you unless you're under over 25, but they probably can, they just have to pay more. So, uh, yeah, uh, so basically I do a Monday to Friday. Um, Silencio, um, por favor. It's Monday to Friday. Uh, sometimes I'll take the truck home. I am based a little bit further away than Maxi. Um, it's not a major issue though, to be honest, especially like if I'm going past, I can take the truck home and just, I'll just park it near my house or um, out at a yard. And uh, that's it, away I go. Enjoy the weekend, especially if we've got like something going northbound, then I can just literally, I'll slow it down a bit. I can just literally uh, jump in a cab and carry on, just, uh, Nice and easy. So uh, yeah, Monday to Friday, brilliant. I'm still, I'm just getting used to not having three days off at a time though. Uh, I'm, I'm used to having three normally, but we'll get there. Um, the company to, to, to work to work for, the staff, the sound, so that's really very nice. Uh, the planners are good. Uh, my immediate boss is good. I've not really met too many people in the company, but they do have their own garage, a garage, and uh, these, uh, there's, there's usually got some projects going on in there. They do have several Scandi bullnoses. They have um, a couple of Scandi V8s, a couple of new shaped ones, and uh, some Volvos. Mind the DAF. Um, I've heard a rumour that they might be getting a 750 Volvo. Um, Don't know if that's true or not. But all in all, I've been at this company for quite a, quite a few weeks now. And um, yeah, it's the first week. Uh, <laughs> sorry, I'm waffling on a bit here, but the first week, um, it wasn't the best week, if I'm honest, simply because I. <laughs> I started and then like on the, I started on the Monday and I think on the Tuesday I had the, I had the sweats, I was ill, I just I had no energy, I was aching. Uh, it, I went even tosser, absolute tosser. Um, I was aching all over. Anyway, it turns out I had COVID. Didn't realise I had COVID for a couple of days. Are you going to do the same as well, eh, mate? So yeah, it turns out I had COVID, which is, wasn't the best though. Um, it didn't, it only affected me for like two days and then it was, uh, this one, oh, it's this one. Uh, yeah, it only affected me for a couple of days and then it was, it was gone pretty much. Um, but obviously, once I realized what it was, uh, it was gone by the Tuesday, the following Tuesday, so yeah. Uh, and uh, yeah, I had some issues with a drop in Cardiff on uh, on the Friday of the first week. So I was there pretty much all day. Um, through no fault of this company that I'm working for now, it's just it's just one of the things. It happens at Maxi. It happens everywhere. Um, but anyway, yeah, I've got a late one back from uh, from there on the Friday. Did get up to like ten o'clock at night. Are we uh, are we gaining on you? Yeah, we are. So yeah, the first week was a bit, not, <laughs> no, didn't go the best, but yeah, it's been all right since, if I'm honest. There's uh, some interesting loads that we do. Um, the, I had to turn one down yesterday. Well, they offered, they said, they asked me if I've done any long loads before. And, I, and I, I mean, my reply back was, about a foot over length, that's it. And uh, anyway, it turns out it was going to be a 16 metre lo lo long load. And 
it was um, it was decided it's best give me some training before they put me on that. <laughs> And then it, it, as, it, as it transpires, it was actually an 18 meter long load, which is 60, just under 60 feet long. Um, which I know, about the, yeah, the 16, 16 meters is about 52 feet. It's not, that's, I wouldn't, don't think I'd have a problem with that at all. Uh, it's the, the 60 foot though, without experience, without knowledge, or without some uh, speaking to drivers who do that. Uh, for some tips, and uh, I did have to check the regulations as well. Uh, I'd rather not do that, so I decided I'll just do the one that's on now, which is going into Birmingham, West Brom, sorry. And I've purposely, I say I'm running, running behind earlier, but I'm not really running behind. Um, I just feel like I'm running behind because I, I got up later than I normally would do. Look at that, straps properly well, don't they? Um, because you don't want to go to a building site too early because you, it just doesn't work. <laughs> anyway, I want to get to the, get this one. I'll stop waffling now. We'll get to this one. We'll get this tips off there. We'll get back to where we've just been and um, collect the trailer that I parked there last night. It's already loaded. I've got to restrap the load because I took the straps off and put it on this. Um, so I'll drop this trailer off there, pick that one up, restrap it take that up to Middlesbrough and uh, that's going to a tight yard in Middlesbrough as well I've only done one of these ones so far the guy just took the straps off <laughs> um, so I'm just gonna uh, I, I can see some it see some it there yeah the services here actually I'm just gonna stop at the services and I've just seen that 25 minute traffic jam there so uh, Where's the services here? It's one of the office. come off or is it what's going on with it I could see something flapping around but I mean I just ah it's that that's what's come it's come off well spotted to that other driver though gloves I should be wearing gloves but oh well <laughs> these when you uh, do kind of knot it like that and yeah, that should be all right there yeah it'll be all right well whilst I'm here might as well get a coffee on there which one of you eagle eyes spotted that then because I didn't spot that then <laughs> Is it a fake one? It's a fake one, isn't it? Oh no, is it? I think it's a fake one. Just my look. I'm not going to get a coffee. I'm just going to crack on because there's traffic here. Uh, you probably can't see it, but 
stationary traffic is 30 minute delay there. We're just gonna go round the traffic. Hopefully you can see over the steering wheel all right. Let's go donkey. I do like those new Alphas. That is a pretty, look, pretty looking car that. So I say there's more traffic coming up. Do you know what though? I mean, it's this time of the morning and it's heading into Birmingham, West Brom. I know some of you are probably saying that's not Birmingham. It is to me. I'm from the north. Uh, so yeah, we, we, we're going to get delays no matter what this morning. Um, one of the... Have you stopped talking now? <laughs> so one of the... Uh, I've Googled this place already, and uh, obviously it's not built yet, so it's, yeah. The, the, it didn't have a postcode on the paperwork, so um, I've had to, did a bit of Googling last night, and I found, I found out what the initials meant on the paperwork, and uh, found the right postcode for it. Right, I think we're nearly at the road that we need to be on. Exit A4182, Kenrick Way. Just had an idiot undertake me on the roundabout. I want to say undertake me, like, between my lane and the, the giant curb. Like, he just squeezed through. It wasn't a lane there. He just, he just squeezed through. I think I got it on the dash cam. Yeah, construction site entrance only. Yeah, we go. Happy days. I wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. So we need hard hat, glasses, high face, gloves and boots. I better put my glute, my glutes on. <laughs> put my ass on. I've got, obviously you can see what I've got on. <laughs> USB to park over there, right? on the right side. What, where that digger is? This, uh, yeah, on that beat, um, this place, isn't it? Over there. Right. To so the right hand side? Yeah, just right hand side. One way? Yeah, you don't need to enter inside, you know? You just on the right side, I will show you here. Yeah. Okay. That's where I get filthy. So those, those big screw things over there, I don't know what they're called, but uh, they will be uh, drilling holes for what I've got on. Just, just wait around here, yeah? Yeah, yeah, come up here. Okay, mate. Yeah. Just seen on the sign there, no entry piling in progress, so it is piling. Uh, that crane over there to the right is probably what's going to offload me, unless it's oh, there's another green crane over there, it might be the green crane, but it looks like I won't be moving until uh, I'll get over there. And I don't know if I'm loud over there if I'm piling, so uh, yeah, he just said sit over here, he just said go over here, security, so that's where I am. And I've just gone past this on the motorway and I did look down and didn't even realise it's the same place. <laughs> right, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna go and unstrap the load. And uh I've gotta put my boots on here, got mud on it already. I'm gonna go and strap the load and unstrap it and put the straps away. Well might as well.
All right, that's all good to go. We've got some straps ready to go to uh, let's secure these posts down. Got some matches on the other side. Uh, just double check, I've not left anything on the other side. Just the straps, just the ratchets even. Yeah. So we're good to go. I found when you go to places they give you like a, a sheet to uh, like for directions. It's laminated. So anyway, it is now uh, my floor mat. <laughs> you probably can't see that. It's now my floor mat. <laughs> I've been sat here a while now. Trucks are coming and going, mostly tippers and concrete. But uh, I don't know if you can see or not, but uh, one of the things that I've got on the back is going in there. I think that looks a bit longer, that one. Um, so I'm still waiting to be unloaded, hopefully soon, because I've got other jobs to do and places to be, places to go. Well, the time now is 1.15 and uh, I've only just got tipped. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I'm laughing. <laughs> um, one of our other drivers has just done it. He's just come in just as I was getting tipped, so he's gone straight on it now, so no waiting around for him. Right. Let's get this trailer dropped off and the other one picked up. Really, just in case. Uh, I'll try to keep it as clean as possible. Wash that later. See if we can unhook it to go around. We can. These small ones, small ones ain't going to be much use on that load. It might be actually. We'll see. Let's go. 
one over. See what it's like. Don't do this at home. Actually, I wouldn't do this if there's anyone about. I throw the throw the hook over first. It's not something you normally do. But there's on about. Yeah, it's alright. It's not too bad actually. Make sure that can still be seen. Right, I will uh, check back in with you when I've done this. Right, that's that done. Oh, I can straighten that one out. Right, let's have a look at this and uh, get that one hooked up. I know that one I'm picking up has got difficult to get the ABS cable in it for some reason. Not sure why but before I forget it we'll get the number plate. <laughs> this one needs replaced. Lights are still working good. Alright, let's go. Get that jacket off, too bloody warm. Right, uh, I've just got a change of address on this. Date on me, I'll watch, watch later. Can't be asked right now. Um, change of address on it, so it's actually going to Leeds. Not, uh, not where I thought it was going. So, what is it, two hours to get there? They're on site until 6 p.m. And uh, I should get there around about 10 past five, it's saying. That may change depending on the traffic, but uh, hopefully the, oh, it's gone up to 12 minutes past five now. Oh, it's because we're going this way. Um, 
so uh, hopefully we're not too late because this stuff it'll need to be craned off and it's not the quickest stuff to remove if I'm honest well after a bit of calculating I am on four hours and five minutes of driving and um, it's gonna take 31 minutes to get there with the current traffic so that's a five or six minute downfall I don't have I'm not gonna get there on time and they go at six so if I take a 30 minute break as soon as possible um, that's uh, they're not gonna be liking that <laughs> That's for sure. <laughs> if I turn up there at um, at five forty, they will not be happy. We'll see what happens. Well, this is not what I want. I'm on four hours and twenty-two minutes of driving. It's three quarters of a mile to get off here, and then hopefully find somewhere to stop. Uh, ACV is using any lane ends. Are you going to put your indicator on and come in here, are you? Or are you just going to... I'm, I'm letting you in, mate. There you go. I sounded very sarcastic then, didn't I? <laughs> anyway, yeah, I've got to get off and uh, pull up somewhere um, in the next six and a bit minutes uh, four minutes left oh, I forgot the sat nav see this would be an ideal place for a lay by is that a lay by there actually it says I think it's a, an emergency only lay by or is it I'm having it No parking at any time, well, if someone moves me along, then I'll move along. But until then, I'm having my break. Right, 30 minutes done. Let's see if we can get out of this lay-by now. Right, it's down here somewhere, apparently. I'm looking at the dirt on the road there, thinking this may be on the left. I see cranes. I see a building site. Bit warm. So, they couldn't offload me. It's just taken me 50 minutes to uh, remove all the ratchet straps, put them away, and uh, whatnot. Take the sheet off, fold it up. Oh, warm. So, like I said earlier, I've got an appointment with the doctors tomorrow. So, uh, the guys uh, very nicely said, just drop the trailer, mate, go for your doctor's appointment, come back in the morning. So, all right, I'll do that. Thanks very much. So, that is what we shall do. Uh, I'll give the security guard a little toot to let him know I've gone. Turn left, left, he's always waiting for me to lock the gates. Oh, I need to set, <laughs> I need to set navigation, don't I? sat waiting in his car for me, bless him. He was nice, he was, the security is the one who showed me around this where the showers were and stuff. Of course, there had to be traffic. <laughs> I've been, uh, this is moving as fast as it's been so far. Uh, it's just crawling. Um, I think everyone's just trying to get up to this junction. It'll be clear after this. So, this is my actual truck.
the Volvo I've been driving. Uh, it was a bit of a loner, well, same company, but a bit of a loner as in this was having some stuff done to it. So it wasn't ready. I did use it for one week uh, and then it was returned to the workshop. They do some work on it, which is planned. And then they just gave it me back yesterday. So would you like a tour? So as you can see, it's a six, 2016 model. Wheels are shiny. Well, they could be shinier. Um, it does have a mid lift, which is just hidden away by this cover. And uh, I think that's when you have nice, nice exhaust. Look at that. Every time you go near a truck, you just get dirty. Uh, so I've got my straps and ratchets here. Uh, there's a strap that goes across them. And those are my corner protectors, which I'm gonna take them back to the yard and solve them for different ones, which I put on that Volvo, because they're better. Uh, no one's using that Volvo at the moment, so yeah, anyway, I've just give it a quick clean and uh, done a bit of tire shine. It's not the best stuff, to be honest. I think this wheel needs uh, new white on the uh, on the Bridgestone, but it's a pain in the ass to keep that, if I'm honest. I might just let it go black. <laughs> uh, so, yes, uh, what we've got, we've got calcium bar at the bottom. Needs shining up a bit, to be honest. And uh, we've got there two hidden strobes. Uh, light bar at the top, another Kelso on with one, two, three, four, five, six, six spots on it, and uh, some lights in the bar as well. It's got the uh, the lights in the corners up there as well, and uh, none of the steps are bent over, which is quite quite weird. These are the arm dash. Uh, so corner camera there. So when you go into London and whatnot, this does have a, a better. The, the camera on this is so much better than the one I had at Maxi. Get your seat to it on the dashboard. So I'll give it a quick clean. This is the first wash I've done to it. So there's little things like, I'm gonna see. Right, I've just noticed that now. Stuff to do over time. Um, I washed the wheels. I washed the actual, the, the rims with um, window cleaner. So I was told it works. Uh, so yeah, there we go. It's got a big tank on it. Uh, about 500 liters, so just under 500 liters. And uh, I think this wheel's a bit, better than the other one, this is a bit shinier. Uh, plastics ain't too scratched either, so that's not too bad. I'll just give it a go over with uh, Blink, I think. Just brings it out. Interior is a mess because I'm halfway through cleaning it. Uh, so I just pulled that out to do that, so I'll just move that. I've swept the floor and it. Put it there for now. Uh, pretty much a standard daft, really. Um, it's not, it's not standard. <laughs> it's got uh, your air conditioning seats and your heated seats, which is great. All your seat controls there. That's the that's the bolster at the back, which kind of lets you do multiple changes on it. So you've got uh, the these come in and out. You've got in and out on there, in and out higher up. And let's just jump in. As I say, it is a bit of a mess in here because uh, I'm just sorting out. So dashboard, it's got the, the the old man dashboard on it for it was just like a chrome color that but you know it's all right i suppose uh i used to have that in my old daf which is a good stereo actually uh one thing i don't like about dafs is the steering wheel that's you that that's all the movement you've got which is ridiculous really the volvo one blows this out of the water if i'm honest so the previous driver he had some stickers on there if it ain't dutch ain't much that will be going and uh, so will the hornblasters.com, the steering wheel, and red light district sticker is not for me, if I'm honest. <laughs> but other than that, it's quite nice and clean inside. There's a few dirty bits I can see, like I've just spotted a bit there, uh, which I'm going to go over now. And uh, there's a microwave getting fitted into that middle locker for me, which is great. Um, everything else is pretty much standard. You've got your light controls up there for the roof. Uh, sunroof, you've got a sunroof and a sun blind which is electric so you can move the blind and the sunroof without having to move. The seats are leather, as I say air conditioned and uh, it does have a fridge here. It probably is, it doesn't look as big but it probably holds about the same as the Volvo one which is is decent, it's a bit dusty there, that's uh, one to do on the list. Uh, more storage over there, you can see the dust on it now can't you? It's uh, been in the warehouse. Uh, workshop, so it's going to be a bit dusty. Uh, so there's not much to say really, apart from it's got internal curtains there, so you can drop them right down. 
which is good. Uh, if you just want a quick snooze, I'll just close all the curtains. Uh, oh, that that top bunk will never be used, if I'm honest. I won't even use it for storage. There's so many, so much storage in the DAF. It's one of the best things about DAF, so much storage. Uh, Suck it over there, which is good. Probably put a light board on there. The bed needs making. Uh, this mattress cover, it needs pulling around because it's not quite right on it. That's supposed to be at the bottom. But anyway, I'll sort that out. Uh, bottle loader here. Uh, curtains, blackout curtains, which is good. So you got your cup holders here. Um, if your cup's too big, the top bit slides out of the way. Same on this side. Top bit slides out of the way if your cup's too big. It's good. Get a nice cup of tea in there. You have a tray here. It's all right. And this pocket down here doesn't really do anything. You do have a USB socket down there and an AUX, both sides, I think. That is the Hella socket, which I think is pointless. And it's still not even powerful enough. It's 15 amp, my kettle's 20 amp, so I can't even boil the water with that. Doesn't matter though, it's getting changed. This one here is uh, 12 volt, 5 amp, which still is not putting much out. It's good good enough for your sat nav and maybe one other item on your, on your dashboard, dash cam and whatever. 